Hey everyone, welcome to Popular Cruising. I am your host, Jason Lippert, here with a review of Celebrity Apex from Celebrity Cruises. As we were quite impressed with the first in the series, Celebrity Edge, the second Apex was equally memorable. Let's begin by taking a look at the ship's specifications. The Apex's onboard lifestyle and value is premium. She is part of the Edge class and was fully introduced in 2021. Apex is rather large, measuring in at 129,500 tons and sporting a double occupancy guest capacity of 2,910. This results in an admirable passenger space ratio of 44.5. Accommodations on board Apex feature a wide mix of staterooms plus suites as part of the retreat. We personally enjoyed a Sky Suite. This entry-level suite is an ideal median size, and of course it comes teddy bear approved. Bedside USB charging ports and electrical outlets are nice, but only at one nightstand, sadly not both. But at the other side, there's at least plenty of hanging storage space in the closet, as well as further shelving and drawers. The lovely living area extension is wide enough for a sofa, coffee table, vanity desk, and extra chair. This charging box is a welcome cubby for US and European plugs that tidies unsightly cables when closed. And a smart home style control for the room is a handy bonus. Our favorite feature of the suite was this awesome balcony with views to the front of the ship and side. Passing back through the inside takes us to a wonderful bathroom with a wide sink basin and pair of faucets, separate toilet compartment, sizable rain shower and tub combo, including body sprays, and handsome little touches like the Retreat logo, coral accents, and a whole other vanity. Naturally, there are traditional cabins available as well, starting at deluxe inside staterooms, which are still very well designed. And extending to the edge staterooms with the ship's signature infinite verandas. These are the ones that marvelously go all the way to the edge with a window that slides down to expose a balcony railing. Even standard bathrooms are nicely appointed with the fixed shower enclosure over any flimsy curtain. Returning then to the retreat, the celebrity suite is a step up from the sky variety with a dedicated living room that is fully delineated from a bedroom. Quickly, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified when our newest videos are published. Additionally, Celebrity Suite bathrooms showcase separate toilet and bathing compartments. Next up in size are Royal Suites. These come with a large dining room, mini bar, and living area. And the bedroom faces the balcony, And just behind an open partition is a U-shaped bathroom with couple sink basin, toilet compartment, bathtub, and ample walk-in shower around the corner. For something particularly unique, Edge Villas are bigger still with their own dining room and living room downstairs. Along with a balcony with loungers and a private plunge pool. plus a bedroom overlooking it all from upstairs, adjacent to a great bathroom. Next in the retreat series by size are penthouse suites. At the center is a comfortable living room with sectional sofa off the balcony, and behind it is a dining room large enough for groups. The master bedroom features an aforementioned infinite veranda and of course, a magnificent bathroom. Besides a walk-in shower, there's also a fully featured jetted bathtub with a view to the outside. But the best of the best is the iconic suite, right at the front of the ship with a forward-facing dining and living room, as well as plush bedroom overlooking the bow. The bathroom is another stunning variety with a double soaking tub 
And then there's the incredible balcony, situated out over the navigational bridge wing for expansive private hot tub and cabana views. And of course, suite guests get exclusive access to all other retreat venues, like the sun deck with its own secluded pool, hot tub, more cabanas, and bar, as well as additional lounger extension wings. The Retreat Lounge features an indoor and outdoor patio escape, with snack service. And Lumine is the Retreat's spectacular included restaurant. When you're ready to book your Celebrity Apex Cruise, we recommend doing so through our sponsor, Fairy Godmother Vacations, who will magically take care of all your trip planning absolutely for free. To get a complimentary quote, just click on the link right here, or call the number, or email the address displayed below. As for activities available to everyone, there are still plenty to go around. Starting all the way down on Deck 2, the destination gateway is the ship's fancy tendering lobby. That accesses the magic carpet as a convenient loading platform. The vibrant cantilever deck can also relocate to higher levels on the ship to creatively cater as patio extensions to various other dining rooms. But here it loads the tenders to take guests ashore. Before rising to a level, perfect for taking in an inaugural departure from Fort Lauderdale. Complete with ceremonial fireboat send-off. and a stunning shipboard sunset. Then on deck three and above, Grand Plaza anchors social gathering as the ship's central atrium. With a dramatic vaulted ceiling and lots of cozy seating. Off from which is guest relations, clad in stylish wood paneling, and ready to address any passenger needs. Such a stylish ship as the Apex also comes with the Celebrity Eye Lounge, reseller of awesome Apple computers and other products conveniently on board. And just down the hallway is my fave nearly hidden detail, cleverly highlighting the ship's exposed steel structure. The teen space was being used as a meeting room on our sailing, but I was able to film the kids club, Camp at Sea, the colorful venue is where the youngest guests can play games, do crafts, and give parents some well-deserved time to themselves. And up on deck four for adults, the casino offers games of chance. Either the latest in slot machines or traditional table varieties. All of which are thankfully smoke-free. The celebrity shops are even more expansive, with stores in multiple zones and on multiple decks. For an elevated retail experience, including major name brands, in addition to logo items. Elsewhere, the photo gallery has gone digital. To be environmentally friendly, And the photo studio next door is where guests can have professional portraits taken. And besides the aforementioned guest relations desk, there is also an area to book future cruises as well as shore excursions. And while not pictured on the deck plan, there's an extra corner for the captain's club and concierge desks. Should a need for onboard conferencing arise, the meeting place also provides access to both dedicated lounging and working areas. What's more, the club is a double-decker multi-purpose venue on decks 4 and 5 with an attached bar for various activities. From fun escape room style games to movie soundtracks trivia, Rounding out Deck 5, there's also an art gallery on board that displays Park West pieces available for auction.
Heading up to Deck 14 are Apex Cabanas available for rent. They can be booked for private lounging, cocktails, and more around the pool. Which itself is freely available as a very long, inviting expanse on Apex that further features many loungers and unique hot tubs perched in neat stands that sort of look like giant drink glasses. Or indoors is the celebrity favorite complimentary solarium pool and hot tubs. Perfect for any and all weather conditions. Or for a charge, and sadly displacing a traditional observation lounge available for everyone, is the spa. Still, its spaces are unquestionably lovely, especially the relaxation room, thermal suite entry, forward-facing tile loungers, floating chairs, and other pampering amenities like saunas, steam rooms, experience showers, and private treatment rooms. There's also a separate salon and barber. And even more upstairs. In the way of the ship's fitness center. Featuring all kinds of equipment. As well as a pair of motion studios. But perhaps the most inviting area for exercise is the rooftop garden and jogging track. Besides a lush central deck for various activities, the track distinctly meanders round trip, descending and ascending multiple decks, like a kinetic Mobius strip. with outstanding outdoor views along the way. Now if that doesn't work up an appetite, surely exploring Apex's dining will. Starting up high, right back at the rooftop garden grill. An alfresco specialty restaurant cooking up gourmet comfort foods such as these. And behind it is the popular Sunset Bar. Seen at none other than Sunset, when it's perfect to gaze upon the ship's wonderful wake. Just below by one deck is the included buffet of the ship, Ocean View Cafe, featuring its own bar, several food stations, a super high ceiling and great sea views, as well as a pizzeria at the stern. Naturally serving great pizza and calzones. The buffet itself is also home to other excellent entrees, ranging from Italian to Indian food. Outside around the pool is also the included mass grill, where guests can order burgers and hot dogs with all the toppings. Or for a healthier alternative around the indoor solarium, there's the Spa Cafe. Then heading back downstairs to the aforementioned Grand Plaza is the Martini Bar. Guests can catch a light show and be dazzled by the skills of bartenders as they serve specialty cocktails with flair. The martinis here sure are tasty too. Also on Deck 3 is the first pair of Apex's four included main dining rooms, starting with the Normandy Restaurant. Each have their own unique decor and displays.
as well as mouth-watering specialties, only available at each. There are also daily rotational dishes that are common across the mall, including the Tuscan restaurant. Featuring Italian art that is both traditional and modern. And here's one of Tuscan's excellent specialties. Up one deck is the other pair of main dining rooms, encompassing the Cypress restaurant and its more subdued design. Plus, a tempting specialty of amazing melted cheese. On the other side is the Cosmopolitan restaurant and its massive collection of translucent displayed wine. In a crystal atmosphere, with even more great specialties to try. Down the way, Cafe Albaccio returns a celebrity's stylish coffee shop. Where I enjoyed several refreshing iced mochas. Entirely new on Apex, and replacing the generic casino bar since Edge is Craft Social. For a wide ranging list of beers on tap and in bottles. Including a unique means to dispense from below the glass. Besides a great sampler of brews, Passengers can also order specialty sliders to accompany the beverages. Next door, Le Grand Bistro returns for French cuisine available at lunch. Or at dinner, Le Petit Chef and family will animate your table and digitally craft a new menu. Beautifully following the seasons of life. Like spring pea soup. Animated sessions serve a four-course meal, which may also include yummy pasta, an entree of tender filet mignon, and dessert, all playfully presented via high-tech projections. Overlooking the Grand Plaza is also Ron 5, a fresh take on sushi on 5 from previous ships, in a bright scenic setting that specializes in fresh seafood such as these. Or across the way is Fine Cut Steakhouse, a handsome space to enjoy the best meats available on board Apex. Down the way, through this trippy, undulating passageway is where Blue is located. Like Lumine is available exclusively to suite guests in the retreat, this healthier restaurant is included just for passengers and aqua class accommodations. Or continuing farther down the rabbit hole is Eden. A multi-purpose dining and entertainment venue where Eden Cafe is included for meals during the day. Eden Bar dramatically decants thematic drinks. Some in smoky mystery boxes. An Eden restaurant is another specialty restaurant for dinner. Surrounding it all is an architecturally impressive ramp to the second floor that serves somewhat as a scenic sitting area over the stern. But a true observation lounge at the front of the ship would be preferable. 
And as you may have heard, Eden is also where some of the ship's more wild entertainment is hosted, such as Night of Dreams. Since Edge, shows here are less sexualized, but still a bit strange, showcasing the characters of Alice in Wonderland, like Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and the Queen of Hearts, among others. Sequences are cleverly set to pop songs, and the performers are certainly talented, including impressive acrobatics. The bizarre narrative might not be for everyone, who are ultimately invited to join in the dance party afterwards. Meanwhile, the club, again seen here from the loft overlooking Deck 4, is more of a hybrid between Eden and the traditional theater, with smaller cabaret acts from the previous Wonderland troupe, staging more great aerialists. But the theater is still where the most impressive entertainment is found on Apex. including Rocky Menery, a tour de force that conveys a history of classic rock in a most dramatic fashion, backed by an excellent live band and a pulse-pounding sound system. but it's just one of several awesome productions on board. There are even more amazing acrobatics and aerial acts and crystallize, with high energy pop violin music from the likes of Lindsey Sterling, backing fantastic singers and dancers. As seen here, right from the front row. where projection and lighting effects further set the scene for Apex's excellent entertainment. Now to conclude with the ship's pros and cons. The only negatives we can point out as a pain in the aft are the lack of a traditional observation lounge, the fact that Eden can still be perceived as a bizarre venue, and that USB ports at only one nightstand is unfortunate for those on either side of the bed looking to charge. But what can take a bow are otherwise innovative stateroom and suite designs, the ship's unique array of food and beverage offerings, and its excellent theater performances. Thanks so much for watching! If you would, as it really does help support us, please like this video with a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel while hitting that bell icon to be notified of new videos, watch our other ones, and visit popularcruising.com.